curve up here. So this is like, say, the ulnar nerve, something like that, okay, up here. Okay, and then they've zoomed in, so you gotta notice that you're zooming in, okay, zooming in on that. So around the whole nerve is that epineurium, right, epineurium. Okay, so epineurium around the whole thing. So that's, is that mislabeled then? Why does that say epineurium? Ignore that. I think that's wrong. Okay, so epineurium goes around the whole thing. And then inside, you've got your fascicles. Okay, so we can light those up. Here's the fascicles. Um, someone was asking about uh, why are they kind of separated out like that. I'm not really sure why they're separated out like that. Maybe in some nerves, they're more kind of clumpy. The axons are kind of clumpy in there. Um, you do have the endoneurium around each axon, so it's possible that in some cases the endoneurium is more extensive. I don't know. But this whole thing is a fascicle. The perineurium is around it. And then let's see if we can get a better view. Yeah, okay. So here, zooming in on one fascicle, and you're getting cross-sections of axons. So the little, dot, oops, the little dots on the inside are the axons, the myelin sheath around the axon, and then endoneurium, not something that we're gonna see um, with my microscope or your microscope, um, is gonna be that connective tissue around, around the myelin sheath. And I think that does it. There's also a longitudinal section on that slide, but it doesn't come out super well at all on our slide, so I'm not gonna test you on the longitudinal section of that. Okay.